I uh, the sun again about time, concept of time. I wanted to continue and say that uh, that's perhaps the most uh, tangible part of uh, scheduling time and limiting our lifespan and our projections and our spiritual astral visions and so on, limiting it by time, one of the most uh, visual, tangible, tangible effect of it is emotional, is where you will feel um, more depressed as time proceeds, as we follow this plan, as we go older, as we apply this plan upon our body, uh, our body follows and uh, 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 follows a, a, a line of deterioration that we call holding, getting older. Uh, the culture is here because they are uh, created and handled by a group of psychopaths. Uh, they grew also to believe that uh, time exists and, all, and aging is uh, real. But in fact, it is uh, a long or uh, a, a gradually affecting the body to die. It's like uh, killing somebody in a very slow process. That's what it is, what they do. They call it uh, your aging, and then they created a hospital to investigate into the procedure for the aging and how they could perhaps do it in a different way, maybe shorten your life. Uh, sometimes they say that they yeah, do other things, but you, don't, you shouldn't believe any of what this medicine people say. They know nothing. And they don't mean well. And if they mean well, they are innocent enough to believe that what they do is right. Anyway, I'm saying that the most tangible aspect of this is emotional. What it means is when you bring it from the overall uh, you know, global uh, perspective, the projection of the life to the minute mo moment, how would the moment, the one moment, behave? How would you behave within a plan that is scheduled to go and end in the same, in a certain way, you know, in so much minutes or in so much more doings. So it's an emotional effect where the older you get, or even you can start even when you are 15, that you get older, you get tired uh, by doing something, you will say, you, 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 you just, it's too much for you to, 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 to express some effort, to do more effective, to do some something with more power, to invest more of yourself, uh, to try something, you maybe believe that uh, your body will not hold it, or maybe something, you need to rest, you need to, you, you, you feel sorry, uh, that you that you that you must do it. You, you start to feel more sorry with the years because evidently the more you do, the less you're going to benefit from what you've done. So it's a suicidal procedure. Whatever thing you do is a suicidal. If I do something anywhere, it's a suicidal because where am I going with it? Why am I doing this? You know. So when it comes to the minute moment, the suffering, the elemental minute, uh, you could call it uh, nano level, you know, micro, the thing that happens in every little thing that you do is it follows by greater and greater sorrows as you as you do them. You, you try to do something, you do something, you feel sorry for doing it, you feel it's too much for you to do. You, you wish somewhere else was, was doing it. You wish you were paid for doing it. You wish it wasn't it shouldn't have been done in the first place. So you don't like to do all this thing, thing. So all this life becoming unnecessary. All the things you do in the life becomes unnecessary under this, you know, uh, provisions under this perspective. And then it comes to every moment. That every moment is a suffering, and every moment is uh, is. Uh, 
doing something that you don't really enjoy doing because the more you do, the more you suffer of what you do. So it's less looking forward for the benefits or the service that you do when you do anything. Rather, you look at the, or, you know, uh, you look at it with, you know, disgust with the, with unwilling, with uh, with laziness, with uh, rejection. You don't want to do anything that you do. So the more you grow up, the more more this breaking uh, you need to break out of what you do because what you do it comes to break anyway right this is a projection so um, now everything that you do you suffer more and more it's that it already and now you ask what is suffering exactly so you maybe want to elaborate on it a little bit maybe it deserves more elaboration than, than anything is how you're suffering of the shortening of time or, it, or like with everything you do that you shortens and shortens you know everything you do is more suffering no more suffering your belly suffers because you have to stand up you don't stand up anymore why should you suffer if you stand up if you can sit and why wouldn't you lie down if it's easier for you to lie, lie down and so forth and why would you do anything at all because everything you're doing is suffering and if you suffer at this moment you know you will have to look at this moment with a new appreciation you will have to look at it what is happening to you you know to me you know I'm suffering from anything at all that I do and what represent this phenomena more than everything the radiation this is fuckers do all the time they they created this how you call it confinement with the dance sentence you know scripted beforehand and followed through with their inspection and vettings and so on so they follow every protection they do upon everybody and everybody is uh, I call it is certified, is uh, registered, and is known, and is being followed moment by moment. So they are not only inflicting you with a death, uh, a, a, a large variety of death cause, cause, causing uh, things uh, in every way, but also following how you deteriorate, so you can then further, you know, develop this technique of how to kill people and tell them that this is natural death. So it's starting from there, and now you are following this script that they wrote, and now you are suffering your code according to the script, as they keep bombarding us with deadly frequencies and deadly, deadly frequencies, you know. And at the same time, they tell us about the reset, the RV. They tell us all kind of, you know, they stuff us with ideas that will calm us, so we'll not notice what's going on. So it's a death by design. Everybody's following following a time schedule, following the time frame, committing and enslaving every moment, everything that we do to this death plan that's being inflicted and upon us, being presented ever us consent to it, you know, and kill us by our own consent. So I what I'm saying is I have to stop to take some rest here. Yeah, I found that the best way to handle this is on both sides, the overall picture must be revised and changed and become true. And then the healing of every moment, every particular moment, and seeing what's in this moment is falling emotionally, what's happening to me emotionally, you know, when the suffering of what I do is growing with every month, with every year, it grows stronger and stronger. It's become disgusting to do things, you know, because this doing things, it, 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 it contains so much suffering, really. And now they say the best artists, you know, they suffer so much, so the great artists, you know, so it looks to me like a, 
blood, blood uh, thirst people want people to suffer to produce better things. That's what I'm, I'm hearing about them. So I'm saying is that the healing of this moment from the suffering of this moment is becoming aware of how much suffering or what is the suffering eventually is the inability to be content, to be happy, to be really happy. You no know, content is, is pretty easy to do, maybe possible things, but, but to really be happy, the, 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 the power of happiness, the power of excitement that, that was there maybe before this time machine came in, you know, it diminished the body through going through this time machine, diminished the body, diminished the spirit, diminished the emotional the person emotionally, cut all his hopes. He doesn't have hope anymore since his child, you know, and later become a, a disgrace. Sorry to say this. But most of the people live in this uh, in these boundaries. Anyway, so yeah, so thank you for watching me on your son. I hope you found this helpful in some way. Adios, ciao.